Hey everybody, it's Brian House here for Housework and today I'm going to answer a question that I get quite a bit and it's about the decision to switch away from the DC treadmill motor and move over to what I have now which is a VFD and an AC motor. Um, I'll give you the long and short of it. The motor I used from that treadmill was heavily, heavily used and it had many many miles on it if that makes sense so when i got it i was using it on the regular and um, there is a plast round piece of plastic on the back side where the power goes into the dc motor and that's where the brushes sit and those brushes if you know a little bit about dc motors or any motors and that for that matter is there's an armature in there and those brushes sit on the outside of that armature and they are what power that that spindle to spin. That piece of plastic holding that brush inside actually failed and pushed through. So the brush, because it was spring loaded, actually went down onto the armature, started sparking and eventually caught fire. Uh, luckily I caught it in time, it didn't destroy the motor. but that piece of plastic that's holding on those two brushes, you can't buy it. You can't go out and just go to the manufacturer. There's no part number on it, so you can't just go find it anywhere. Uh, I tried. So currently I'm in the process of uh, trying to epoxy, fill that cavity with epoxy, and then machine out a little space where that brush could slide through. Anyway, long story short is, when I built this 2x72 grinder, I really wasn't sure how uh, deep I was going to get into the hobby of making knives and um, I didn't really know its usefulness at the time. I just knew I wanted to build one and I didn't want to invest a ton of money into uh, an, like a VFD and a motor. Um, it just simply didn't make sense to me. Plus I really wanted to try it and I wanted to see if it would work. Uh, at that point when it failed I went out and priced out what a VFD would cost and what this iron horse two horse motor would run me and it was a pretty penny the vfd i think is about 300 bucks and the motors is 165 dollars i got it from a place called automation direct i'll go ahead and put links down in the description so you can find one um, i i've since tried to find another one because i actually really like this setup and i was going to build another grinder a different style of grinder and i can't find this motor in stock anymore i have a notification set up from Automation Direct. Hopefully they'll restock that motor and I'll be able to find another one. The VFDs though you can get on Amazon. Those are readily available and those are pretty uh, solid. This particular one is totally encased meaning and the motor too because dust in this situation uh, is really heavy. So you're generating a ton of dust and dust will settle into those electronics and especially on a DC motor DC motors are like vacuums. They pull in everything and they have magnets, really strong magnets on the inside. So you do the math. If you're grinding on a piece of steel and it's generating metal dust and that DC motor is pulling all of that air in to cool it like it's supposed to do, uh, it's going to eventually clog up with metal dust and eventually make the motor fail. Now you can get around this. I actually have a buddy who does this He's got two grinders set up with DC motors and they work fine, uh, but he does have a lot of different pieces of foam and uh, you know, kind of a piece of plastic to filter everything as it goes in, all the air going in. Um, one other thing that he did too was he used the original controller from the treadmill. So he didn't take an SCR motor controller and convert it and make it work. He actually used the controllers from the treadmill itself which makes a difference, I think. A lot of people had messaged me once I built this thing with an SCR motor controller saying I was gonna have problems with low end torque. And for, I could see how that actually is true. And yes, I did have a little bit of trouble with that, but if you're a hobbyist and you wanna use a DC motor and an SCR motor controller and set that all up, I think you will be fine. I don't think, uh, you know, if you're, if you're just doing it on the weekends or something, you could do that setup and it would work just fine. That said, you really need to filter the air going into that DC motor because if you don't, it will fry that motor. Um, you know, the 
the process of doing this is in stages for me, just like everything, you know. I built the machine, I really saw its usefulness. When it was running on DC power, I had, I mean, it, it was great. I really liked it and I thought, you know what, not just for knives, but the 2x72 grinder is actually a really useful tool for so many other applications. So even if I wasn't gonna stay in the hobby of making knives, I would still want one of these in my shop. They are very useful. So it just made sense for me to invest the money, put it all together and just let it go. And you know, that what do they say? Uh, buy once, cry once, you know, that's just how this situation is. You spend a bunch of money on it. I mean, granted, I didn't have to buy the actual grinder itself. I just had to buy the steel, which was pretty inexpensive. A lot of people spend a whole lot more money on just the actual frame for the motor and it doesn't even include the VFD or the motor itself. So anyhow, that's the explanation as to why I switched away from the DC motor and the SCR controller to the AC powered and VFD powered uh, system. So if you have any questions for me in regards to this, please go ahead and leave a comment down below. I do read and respond to all of them. Um, as always, there's links down in the description where you can go and find all the things that I used here. I'll do my best to find another motor that actually meets this requirement. Um, like I said, Automation Direct doesn't have any more. This is a three phase motor, but the VFD is single phase. So it's a single phase to three phase conversion. And this thing is a powerhouse. I'm telling you, you can grind down quarter inch stock, no big deal. With a 36 grit VSM ceramic belt, it chews it up. It's amazing. So anyhow, guys, I appreciate you watching. Thanks so much. If you got something out of today's video, uh, please hit that like button. And also, if you want to see more videos just like this one, hit that subscribe button. And don't forget, hit that little bell so you get a notification every time I upload something to YouTube. Thanks again, guys. I'm Brian House, and this is Housework.